Hi Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and welcome to your general reading for February 2022. So let's get started here. Now please keep in mind, Capricorn, this will not resonate with all of you, so you're more than welcome to check your other placements. Let's see, what messages do you have for Capricorn, please? What messages do you have for Capricorn, February 2022? Capricorn. Some of you may be feeling confused when it comes to what direction you're going, Cappy. That's for very few of you. But I see you getting over some type of despair, some type of loss. What's interesting is that you have high honor here with mature woman and toil and labor. Some of you may be very well known in your job, okay, or in whatever it is that you do here. I feel like people respect you, okay? Now, with toil and labor, this could talk about you overworking. I'm not surprised you are an earth sign, okay? You may just be feeling exhausted, overworked. Maybe you have a lot of responsibilities at this time. Now, what's interesting is you have mature woman here. That's interesting. Marriage just fell out for you. Um, but anyways, you do have mature woman here. There might be an older female, could be a male as well, who is very significant in your life. I'm not feeling a bad energy. I feel like this is someone who genuinely looks after you or, you know, cares about you, that type of energy. And I also am feeling that they admire you. All the accomplishments you have achieved, throughout your life so far. Let's go ahead and keep going here. Give me three more cards. Three more cards for Capricorn, February 2022. Okay. The number 25, 6, 38, 3, I'm hearing 13, 20, 32, 19, may be significant. Okay, so Capricorn, I am feeling the energy where you may be dealing with someone who doesn't make as much money as you. Maybe they are working on their finances because wealthy man is in reverse. So I feel like for those of you females watching, this could be a man where they're not where they want to be at this time, especially when it comes financially. Maybe they're working on their finances, that type of energy. Now, something about the home here, maybe you're really focused with your your home maybe you're decorating again or just organizing everything in your house there may be some issues for some of you with the home so just be on the lookout for that something in your home may be a little bit off so it might be a good time to you know sage check everything out make sure everything's working properly some of you may also be thinking about getting a home or maybe even moving i feel like you're getting out of this negative ways of thinking, negative energy, feeling despair, feeling sad. You're getting out of this. Something has come to an end. You do have the coffin card here. I feel like this chapter is finally closed or a specific chapter in your life is closed now. Spirit is telling me to let it go. Don't look back. Keep going. It's done. It's over. The number 17, 19 may be significant. Some of you could also be dealing with some type of legal situation. Or maybe you will be meeting someone who is very into law. Now, why is thief here? Let's see. Okay. So, just be careful. I feel like there's someone around your energy that they don't really have good intentions. They're looking to steal from you. This could be actual, you know, steal your finances, steal your energy, something. This could be an individual where they'll be all nice to you. They'll talk good, like good to you. But then behind your back, they're telling people your secrets. They're talking bad about you. So, do be careful with a specific thief around your energy. I don't know what the number 24 means. What's interesting is that you have been on someone's mind, Capricorn. The reason why I say that is because thoughts are here. You've been in someone's thoughts. 
you could deal you could be dealing with someone who's very into art who's very creative maybe very philosophical but there's someone around your energy who can't seem to get you off their mind you may be receiving a message from this person if you haven't already maybe even a gift for some of you I see that your health will be improving. You have bad health in reverse here under the deck. Maybe you were thinking that you were going to receive some bad news about your health, and it turns out that it's not bad news. It's actually good news. But overall, I do feel like someone has been thinking a lot about you. This person may be older than you, or they could be a very mature or very mysterious type of person, male or female. Facial hair, gray hair may be significant. Button up shirts, that's the type of vibe I'm feeling. But anyways, let's go ahead and move on. Let's go ahead and take a look at your current energies. Current energies for Capricorn, please. What's going on with Capricorn at this time? General reading. Capricorn. So under the deck, you do have the Fool card in reverse. I feel like at this time, you're not making any impulsive decisions. You're not acting reckless in any shape or form. Now, with the Four of Cups here, some of you may be feeling bored when it comes to your love life. Maybe you're not happy with your options or you're just not sure if you want to accept a love offer. I feel like there's something missing. That's the type of energy I'm feeling like. Like I, like, I like this person, but there's something missing. Or, yeah, I don't know, like that type of energy. Now, with the Ten of Pentacles here, I do feel like money is looking good. And if you've been struggling financially, I feel like you're going to be receiving unexpected income. This could be a bonus. This could be a raise. This could be a new job opportunity. So just do be on the lookout for that, Capricorn. But money here with the Ten of Pentacles looks fabulous. I feel like this is something very unexpected. Could be a gift as well. Just something big. I'm not too concerned when it comes to your finances, but when it comes to love with the Five of Cups here, it's like you're feeling regret about something, Capricorn. This could also be someone around your energy, maybe a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Only you know if this is your story, so if this is not you, it could be someone around your energy that's feeling regret, feeling sadness, feeling a lot of disappointment. Maybe about past decisions or past mistakes. Let's clarify. Clarify here the Four of Cups for Capricorn. Yeah, Ace of Wands. I feel like you want a new beginning, Capricorn. You want a passionate new beginning, but for some of you, it's like right now with the options that are around you or that you have, you're not content with them. You want the full deal. Like, you want the full package. You don't want somebody who's not consistent, somebody who's very in and out, player-like energy. You know, you're looking for the real deal here. I mean, look at this. Ace of Cups, Four of Wands, and Ace of Wands. For very few of you, you could be stuck on someone who rejected you. But for the most part, I feel like this is you feeling bored. Feeling bored with your options. Like, you know what you want. You're very clear on what it is that you want. And you're not willing to settle for less. You want the full package. And you're not willing to settle. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at this Five of Cups. I don't feel like this is your energy. Maybe this, if this is your energy, Capricorn, I feel like this is you only sometimes. Like, I don't feel like you're feeling this regret or disappointment all the time. I feel like it's just, like, random, especially right now with Mercury retrograde. Maybe it's triggering a lot of things. As I said that, devil card in reverse, so I don't feel like you're stuck in that energy. I just feel like maybe you have moments where you feel sad or disappointed. But Spirit is saying... You still have two cups standing, you know, forget the past, let it go. Kind of like how I said in the beginning, you're over the despair, you're over it. The coffin came out, you know, that chapter's closed, it no longer is existent. 
Why is the five of cups here? Six of wands. Oh, I'm getting a specific message. All right, Capricorn. Wow. Listen, okay, this is definitely someone around your energy. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It could have those placements in their chart. Five of Cups, Six of Wands, and Eight of Cups. Someone who walked away from you, someone who left you out in the cold, someone who disappointed you is having regret. They, they regret leaving. That's the energy I'm feeling. Like Spirit keeps telling me they regret leaving. They regret like, why did I do that? Why did I act like that? Why, why, why? Like, you know, but the thing is that you don't know this because this person's coming off as like, I'm doing good. Look at all this attention that I'm getting. Like, I don't even remember you, but in reality, they're feeling like shit because they know they should have never walked away from you. They know that, you know, they, they basically effed up here. They made foolish mistakes. You may have given this person multiple chances and they kept effing up. You know what I mean? And it's like, they're coming off as like, oh, look at me. You may be dealing with someone who's very well known in the community or who's just really well known, who gets a lot of attention from other, maybe other girls, other boys, right? Maybe they're big on like social media, whatever. But the point here is that this is all a front. This person regrets leaving. This person regrets walking away. They feel stupid for how they did you, like, basically bogus here. Yeah, see? Ace of Cups in reverse and King of Wands in reverse. This person could have rejected you. They could have lied. They could have been deceptive. They could have been a player. You might have offered this person a lot of love, and it's like, you know. So right now, this person is feeling regret, disappointment. In reality, they do love you with the King of Cups here. Most definitely could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or someone with those elements in their chart. Now, you also have the Queen of Cups here in reverse, the Two of Wands in reverse, and the Eight of Wands in reverse. Some of you may be waiting to hear, you know, some news. This could be about your health. This could be about, you know, some type of opportunity, travels from a person. Let's go ahead and clarify. All right, clarify here, the Queen of Cups in reverse. Definitely a lot of Pisces energy here, okay? This could have been someone who's very deceptive, sneaky. You caught this person in their bullshit or you're catching, you're catching on. You're catching on to this person. Could also be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but it's like, there's a Pisces here, very significant, where it's like, you're, like you see right through this person. They're sneaky, they're deceptive, they're liars. Maybe this person's very manipulating, cold. Ugh, I don't like that energy. Let's move on. Two of Wands. Why is it Two of Wands here? It's like you're catching on. Ten of Cups. Beautiful. So I feel like you're very happy right now. You may be spending a lot of time with your family. Um, this could also talk about you wanting happiness, wanting that true love, wanting to find that person, okay? Yeah, I feel like, you know, somebody could be dealing with the Leo, the Sun card. Some of you do want to get married. Some of you do want commitment, but maybe you're like, I don't know why Spirit is telling me, where do I find this person? I don't know. Okay, why is the Eight of Wands here in reverse? Ooh, okay. There might, you may have blocked a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or there may be no communication at this time. This person may be very immature, or they could be younger than you. Maybe you're waiting to get a message from an air sign. I don't know. Four of Swords, I feel like right now you're focused on yourself. Capricorn, you're really, really focused on yourself, on your health, on recovering. Um, maybe you guys were sick for some time or just you were feeling really drained, but I see you taking a time out here, seeking your peace, meditation, the world card, beautiful. Some of you are really looking to travel or maybe you have a travel coming up. I do see love here with the two of cups. For some of you, this is someone from your past coming back. Someone who possibly juggled you. Yep, three of cups. They wanting, they're wanting to come and heal the situation because they view you as the empress very intuitive very spiritual person maybe you had a lot of conflict with this person they hate to see you single wow these messages are coming in quick i feel like you're doing very good at just on your own but you do seek to have that partnership with someone here capricorn and i do feel like you will be meeting someone significant or maybe you're already dealing with this person could be a cancer could be a fixed sign okay i'm hearing taurus leo libra scorpio for some of you very nice 
let's go ahead and move on to your near future. All right. Near future for Capricorn. February 2022, what can Capricorn expect here? Wow. You know, it's interesting because I do shuffle these cards really good. I just cut off that part to not annoy you guys, to be honest. But what's interesting is you have the Ten of Pentacles again here. Beautiful, all right? This is right here in the same place as the current energies, all right? So I see money looking good. You will, you will be receiving unexpected income, whether you believe it or not. Could be something you worked for or it could just be a bonus, a raise, a promotion, a new job opportunity, something about Ten of Pentacles. Some of you may even win the lottery. Okay, with the strength card here, there's a Leo coming your way in the near future. I still see you really focus on yourself here with the Four of Swords in the near future. I see you taking a time out, taking care of yourself, getting more rest, getting more sleep, taking care of your health. Nine of Swords, getting out of this negative energy. I love this. I love that this is in reverse. You're finally out of this Capricorn. No longer feeling sad, stuck, depressed, anxious. Okay, the full card, I still see you being very wise in your decision making in the near future with the full card in reverse. Some of you have shut down a uh, Pisces, or you're not letting this Pisces get to you anymore. Maybe a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I see you very strong and powerful here, Capricorn. Wouldn't be surprised if the Empress comes out. Six of Cups. There's a soulmate coming in here. This could be someone from your childhood, or this could be someone that you meet, that you instantly connect with. Near future, Capricorn. Awesome. Devil card in reverse, no longer stuck in old ways of thinking, addictions, you know, that type of vibe. Three of Wands in reverse, getting out of the stagnant energy. Some of you are traveling, delays are over. Some of you may be dealing with another Capricorn like yourself. Near future for Capricorn. The Knight of Swords. I see a Gemini Libra Aquarius communicating or making some type of impulsive decision towards you. Strong Gemini here with the Lover's card. So do expect some type of communication or action from an air sign. They may be missing you here in the near future. They want to balance things out, work things out with you. Maybe possibly offer you some type of stability or commitment. Maybe even a gift or finances. Something to do with finances here, but you're looking like a boss, Cappy. Looking good, I swear. I think your last reading I had mentioned that. Okay, and the Empress, I didn't you know you know how I mentioned that the I'm just expecting the Empress to come out. Well the Empress here. So this is you looking like a boss. Looking good. Some of you may be meeting a Aries. Aries, Capricorn. Could be a Pisces for some of you. A Leo. Aquarius. Gemini. What does Capricorn not see coming before I close this out? What does Capricorn not see coming? Three of Pentacles, some of you will reconcile with someone from your past. Or this could also talk about uh, you working, you really focus on your job. So if you're not looking to reconcile, this could be that you're really focusing on your finances, your career. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Be careful with a thief trying to steal your money, Capricorn. Either that or you may be tempted to overspend. What does Capricorn not see coming? Okay, Five of Pentacles. Somebody who ghosted you in the past is coming back. Somebody who left you out in the cold or drained you financially is coming back. So don't be on the lookout for that. But Eight of Pentacles, you're really focused on your coins. You're focused on yourself. Raise. I keep hearing raise, promotion. Yeah, look at that. Six of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Like, Lord, this is amazing. You're going to be receiving unexpected income or something very unexpected that is comes to income, okay? Some of you are rejecting a past person. I see that. Judgment in reverse. You don't, you're not interested in reconciling. The lovers and the emperor. Look at that. Passion. Love. For some of you, this is a new love. Some of you may move up positions or, you know, start your own business. People look up to you. People are going to admire you. Some people may be jealous of you. So, or again, you may be meeting someone who's very like mature and who's like boss mode. But, all right, Capricorn. Your messages were coming in very quick today. Sometimes I talk fast, but I have to because then the messages disappear. So I apologize, but I'm just trying to, you know, give you all the information, all the information I'm getting. All right, Capricorn. 
Let's move on to angel answers. Take this time to think about any questions, any doubts you've been having, and let's see what answers, what advice the angels have for you. What do you have for Capricorn, February? Okay. Under the deck you have, it's up to you. And the cards that go out here for you, ask for help from others. The situation will improve and peaceful resolution. All right, let's go ahead and see what crystal. If you don't have this crystal, it's okay. Feel free to write it down, screenshot it, Google it to see how I can help you manifest this month. What crystal do you have for Capricorn? Ooh, the color red and green may be very significant. Physical body, root chakra, the number 44. You know, the color green may be significant. Number five here, new opportunities and heart chakra. Very nice. Yeah, I feel like green is very significant this month for you, Capricorn. Something about honesty as well, heart and... Third eye chakra, the number 38. But let's go ahead and see what angel number the angels have for you. What angel number do you have for Capricorn? Ooh, the number 30. Ooh, two of them came out. The number 13 and the number 30. And the number 222 under the deck. So I'll read you all three of them. Why not? So trust that the seeds of your thoughts are growing as you are nourishing them with words, feelings, and action. The number 13, you are a conscientious worker with a knack for coming up with creative ideas and turning them into something real. An optimistic but practical outlook keeps you determined and on track as you work steadily towards your goals. And the number 30, you are an original, innovative thinker, an excellent communicator. You have a great talent for using creativity to convey your ideas and your optimistic attitude has an uplifting effect on others. I love this. But all right, Capricorn, this was your general reading for February 2022. If it did not resonate, feel free to check your other placements. Thank you to all my loyal subscribers who continue to love and support my channel. And if you haven't already, please like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you soon with your love reading. Bye-bye.